Active campaign downloads. We're going to show you how you can use an automation to deliver multiple downloads from your Active campaign account. And we're going to make some assumptions here. For instance, you're going to be delivering a PDF. Uh, it's important that you store the name of that PDF in a custom field on your, on your Active campaign account. And then you've got some kind of download directory where your PDFs are stored. Now, important here is the name of the PDF needs to match up with what is stored in the custom field. And ideally, uh, you have them all in the same case, uppercase, lowercase, or the combination. And that custom field and the PDF match. However, we've got a way to handle that if it doesn't. One thing that doesn't work well is if you actually have like white space in the name of the PDF. So my recommendation is whatever PDF you have, it's a one word PDF and you're gonna put in a link inside an email for somebody to use to download. So let's dive right in. Okay, so on your web server, you're gonna to wanna to create a subdirectory called download, I did PDF, um, and then create a file called index.php. You wanna copy, paste, and put this code into there. Um, not an absolute requirement, but what this allows you to do is be able to mix uh, case, upper and lower case. So for instance, if your product name or PDF is called car and in your custom field, it's capital C followed by AR. However, on your web server, it might be small C A R. This will handle that. If you don't have that issue and you know that the case is going to match, then this is not required. So for instance, I'm going to have a directory. It's got index.php, phone.php, PDF and I've actually got car PDF that you really can't see in here. So that's just kind of the background. Now let's take a look inside your active campaign account. So first thing is let's go ahead and uh, create a custom field. I'm going to call it product. Call it product. It's going to be a text. And what I'm going to be using is this, this short code or merge code or personalization. And then inside here, this is an automation called download. And it will work for multiple downloads, not just one, so you don't have to replicate it. So all we're going to do is send out an email. And I'm going to go ahead and build that right now. Okay, so nothing fancy. I'm just going to say download. And here's where it gets interesting is I want to make sure I'm using personalization in the tag. So for instance, I am going to create the URL here. And now I want to use the personalization capability. And I want to find the custom fields. Where are you? Should be. Where is it? Product. And then if you, if, 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 if uh, capitalization is always consistent between your custom field and your download directory, you can do this. Alternatively, you can do this based on that script I provided. So it would look like this with a question mark PDF equals. And I'm going to use this just to be safe. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and get rid of that guy. And I'm going to go link to it from here. So that um, product is going to get substituted in there. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to send myself a test message. So I'm going to uh, have a custom field. I'm going to call it um, car. So let's go find me as a contact. So let's go ahead and fill in the product. And I'm going to use capital car even though I know it's small on my uh, small PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and update this uh, custom field to car. And now I'm going to go ahead and send myself a test message. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I can't tell where it's going from here. But there it downloaded my PDF and there is my car PDF file. So that's how you can set up a campaign and active campaign along with a custom field and a script on your site to handle, handle multiple downloads.